Hi everyone, welcome back. So I see a lot of these in my practice and persons typically refer to them as facial warts or moles. However, they're actually called dermatosis papillosa nigra um, or DPNs for short. by the HPV human papilloma virus and even though they may affect the face as well they don't quite look the same. Moles can also look like DPNs. Um, these can occur at birth or later in adulthood and they tend to be either flat or just like a change in the color of the skin in the area or they may be a little bit raised or they may be dome shaped. DPNs are genetically influenced, so this means that you're more likely to get them if you have parents who have them or grandparents or other close relatives. 40 to 50% of people with dermatosis papillosa nigra have a positive family history of the condition. And what we also have realized is that the older you get, the more you tend to get. So if they're not treated, they won't go away on their own. They will only get bigger and more numerous as you age. DPNs are usually unproblematic but for some people they may be itchy and they're typically found on the cheeks, the forehead, the neck, the upper chest and back. That being said, most persons who present to a dermatologist with DPNs, they're more interested in having them removed just because they're not so comfortable with the appearance of them and that's perfectly fine. So to remove DPNs, I offer a procedure called electrodesiccation, which is shown here. After this procedure is done, I've heard patients say that they feel 10 years younger, they finally have clear skin, and there's just an overall boost to their self-esteem and their appearance. So it's just a wonderful thing to get done. So that's the tea on dermatosis papillosa nigra. Do you have these? Do you know someone who has these? Do you want to get them removed? If you have any questions, comment down below or shoot me a message on the socials that are found in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.